Hello there. Hi. For today's video, I'm going to draw the story of how I met my husband, Tom. This video is actually quite special to me, mainly because if a single moment of the story had not happened, I wouldn't have met Tom. It's a bit weird to think about and a bit scary to think about. Uh, yeah, so this is how I met my husband. I grew up in Springfield, Missouri in the USA, and Tom grew up in Southampton, England. The house I grew up in was a house that my dad built on a big hill next to a river. We lived in the middle of a forest, and so there weren't a lot of people around. One event that majorly affected me was when my dad took me to an ice rink when I was a little girl, and I saw another skater do a pivot. I thought it was the coolest thing ever, and so I signed up for Learn to Skate. Through figure skating, I met Jody, my best friend growing up. She is amazing, strong, and her friendship is still one that I really treasure to this day. I was a bit of the silly one, and Jody was the cool one. <laughs> she made me into a better person, a more competitive, outgoing person, where I was ultra, ultra shy before. She helped bring out the best parts of me. We also spent most days at the ice rink playing with the claw machine, collecting hockey pucks with Carly and Gracie, and at one point we all had matching Madagascar hissing cockroaches. Yay! Because that's true friendship. <laughs> it's silly life elements like that that made me into the weird person I am today. <laughs> I was also into anime, and Kiki's Delivery Service is still my favorite movie. <laughs> and I was Bible Belt Gothic, meaning I liked Tim Burton films. I had a Jack Skellington themed bedroom, so I was a little bit of an outcast. <laughs> I had a bit of a split personality when it came to figure skating and my school life. For whatever reason, in school, I was immensely shy. This developed into selective mutism, and overall, though I did good with my studies, I was not good at socializing with others. And eventually, Jody ended up at the same middle school I was at, and I think she also got to see how different my personality was, and I think that also contributed to us not falling apart as friends, but we definitely grew apart as friends. <laughs> you know, life happens, life is life. But as a result, I didn't really have any close, close friends while I was in middle school, uh, up until the last year of middle school. <laughs> By that time, I had been taking orchestra and I had made good friends with the orchestra group. The reason I played the violin was because my siblings had played violin and so my family had one and that's how I picked my instrument. Yay, hand-me-downs. Ah, uh, yes. But I'm really grateful because through orchestra, that's how I met my friends Paulina, Shelby, and Jared and they remained my friends throughout the end of my schooling. <laughs> Every morning before school, we'd meet in the library with lots of our other friends, and we'd either do homework or hang out or just have a bit of a goofy time. <laughs> and eventually, one day, my friend Shelby showed up with this amazing video to show us by a guy named Hank Green. He was singing a song about Harry Potter. Through that, I got into YouTube and started watching other YouTubers with my friends. <laughs> and I was not meant to do that to me. <laughs> Hank Green's video is the most important moment of this story, actually. If he had not made that, if my friend didn't watch it, I would not have known YouTube. <laughs> I grew up in a household with my dad, and my dad is the most lovely person ever. He's amazing, he's a doctor, he saves lives. Just an incredible person, but, sorry dad, but even though we could have high-speed internet, for the longest time, we had dial-up because he preferred AOL. <laughs> to this day, I think my house will still have the tone of, you've got mail, uh, pop in every now and again. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I had very slow internet growing up, and to load a video would take hours, if not days, to load like a two-minute video. It's a weird thing to think about that like, breaking down your life and finding out what's the thing that got me into my current career and what's the thing that brought me to where I am now. Life's funny. Thank you Shelby and thank you Hank Green. <laughs> Eventually I started making my own art videos and some videos for scholarships and other things I had been uploading and they went well. They went well and I kind of became a little YouTuber. While I was in high school still, Pauline and I decided to go to VidCon in California. Flying to California with my friend just by ourselves, no parents, uh, it was quite exciting. <laughs> During that trip was also the first time I went to Disneyland, and up until this point I thought I had hated Disneyland. I heard there was crowds there, and then I thought I wouldn't like it. <laughs> 
I was wrong. I love Disney. Fast forward to when I graduated high school, I got into a top animation program, but the schooling cost too much for my family to afford, yay. I did have a full ride scholarship to my local university, however, I remember going on a tour of the school and the final painting class that I was gonna work my way up to for four years had the students gluing trash to a canvas. That's not to say all art schools are bad, that's not what I'm saying in there, I'm just saying the one in particular that I had as an option didn't seem like the best option for me personally. I decided to just do YouTube and private art studies for a year. Next came VidCon 2013, which is another important factor of me meeting Tom. And that's because it's where I met and became friends with Evan Edinger. I thought he was British when I first met him actually, and so I was surprised to find out that he was American just living in England. Evan and I knew each other a bit from online, but we got to meet in person at VidCon that year. At the end of the year, my brother and I discovered the new avatar, an airbender named Aang. Just kidding. Uh, <laughs> We went to England. We flew to England together for a month. <laughs> I've been watching Last Airbender a lot recently and so every time you hear the phrase, my brother and I, it just makes me think of the intro. And since I had met Evan before and he heard I was in England, he asked if I'd like to meet up with his friends at a place called Loading. It was a gaming bar, uh, which is funny because it was Loading Bar, haha. -ha. How appropriate that I meet Evan at a place that's a pun. <laughs> Ironically, Loading has moved location, and that current location is now Mr. Lasagna. Back to Loading. Loading is where I met Tom. Evan introduced us, and Tom was a YouTuber himself, and he had made this event called Summer in the City with his friends. It started in a field, and now it's this massive event at London XL, which is crazy. Oh yeah, and that's how I met Tom. Now, unfortunately for Tom, <laughs> uh, I was adamant at that moment in my life that I would never date. <laughs> it just wasn't in my plan. And then I met Tom. <laughs> Neither of us had really dated anyone before, which I think was another reason I picked him. And possibly why he picked me. Tom was too good not to date, and so I wanted Tom. He treated me, and still treats me, like I am the world. Like, there's no one better, and it's the best feeling in the world. Sappy, so sappy. He asked me to be his girlfriend with a Pokemon plush. He told me he was in love with me on a Pokemon card. And he asked me to marry him the following year with a Pokeball. The engagement ring was inside. Ah uh, yeah, so now he's my little family over here. Also, a little announcement here. Tom and I have a new channel together called Dorky Ever After, so we could post vlogs about our daily life, fun videos, and Disney trip vlogs. So if you'd like to check that out, our first video is up already and we'll be uploading every Sunday from now on. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to subscribe, please subscribe. And if you could, in the comments below, please tell me your story. Tell me what significant moments have happened in your life so far, as well as the little moments that have led to something that's important to you. Bye, spies, spies, spies. Goodbye. <laughs> he snuck into my room. He snuck into my room.